Today we're going to dive a little deeper into the unified toolpath. We've already selected a machine, so I'm just going to go right into unified. We've got a holder, we have a tool. We're not going to use the stock at the moment. We're going to add a curve or an edge. And we, in this case here, we can do either or. And if I'm right now, I'm going to use the edges because they're, they're handy and I don't have to make any other geometry. So I'm going to take this edge here, drive it to this edge using this as a drive surface. So we're going to select what we want a machine. And we're going to go to tool axis control and stick to three axis. Now we get a tool path back plot here. One thing I'm noticing as it moves down this wall, this transition is getting sharper and sharper, which is not ideal for high speed machining. So let's see if we can make that a little bit smoother. If we go back to cut parameters, we can go and see that we have a few different options. One of them is under the advanced tab here. We have advanced surface quality. Right now, I want to go to morph, which gives me a little bit more option. If I go to the surface quality and a morph, have the option to smooth the toolpath. So I'm going to say use 100 thousandths transition and detect for 5 degree angle. That will work. And I'm going to say go ahead and do that. And you'll notice when we back plot this, as it's moving down the wall, not only is it not getting sharper, but it's getting less and less sharp. This will give you a better surface finish, especially in this area here. And if you have a high speed machine, you'll see a great benefit by smoothing out this toolpath area in here. One of the best ways to see what's changing the toolpath from one setting to another is to make a copy of the original toolpath and make some changes in it. So I'm gonna just copy this and paste it. And now I can go into the parameters and tune things in the way I'd like and see what the changes are. In this case here is let's turn off smoothing. Once we do that, now we have tool paths overlaid and we can see a little bit better. Make it easier to see. I'm going to turn off the other levels here and just have the tool path on. And we'll zoom in a little tighter here. And now you can see the original versus what it's changed to. Nice thing here is when you have this radial motion versus that sharp corner, higher speed machines will move smoother. When the machine moves smoother, you get a, a much better surface result on your part. Thank you for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. You'll be notified each time a new video is released.